Wait, wait. Hey. One extra break, Carmen. I'm from Second for bounces. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me say that means we're about getting chucked out. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, maybe you can help. There's the frown, the smile, or the balaclava. <laughs> I haven't quite well known, I think like, you don't recognise me tonight without the words wanted, reward. Felton <laughs> <laughs> is pretty well known for its own Venice Institute. We like to call it college. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you laugh, but if you went there you considered academic. <laughs> and then by the time you left you could spell GCSE. <laughs> Same can't be said for the school. Um, a lot of my mates who haven't been bothered with education. I can't really blame you. You wouldn't give a fuck about how Jabrath had three kids to look after. I think our maths teacher sort of realised it was pretty much one destination for a lot of his pupils from day one. So he started teaching us fractions using weed. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a joke. <laughs> I remember him standing at the front of the class saying, If I've got 50 grams of cannabis and 10 grams of tobacco, then what do I have? It was that problem, so. <laughs> <laughs> due. The local dealers do know their shit. It's a shame we didn't teach sex education. <laughs> Might be less grandparents outside the job centre in tracksuits. Right then, mate. Sorry. Right, right. You take all the time you like. <laughs> <laughs> the times have changed. With the younger generation, are only like rabbits. And when I was at school, the only, only pussy you ever saw was your nans. Cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was a legend if you got ranked off by a bird. Now, they're all that. I personally blame the internet. Revolutionised the way people view pornography. The world of filth is one click away. And 12 discreet payments of 69.99. <laughs> I do realise there's quite a lot of crime in film. And just last week I stopped a woman getting raped. Well, stop chasing her. I don't discriminate her. I had a fight with a guy in a wheelchair once. Probably would have won if I got out of it. <laughs> not just felt nice to surround the area, it's all pretty rough. I mean, I went out for a drink in Twickenham recently and got robbed. Eight pounds for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> trends in Belgium. You know this new one about naming your child whenever conceived. We started that. Very proud. Don't have to leave me, can ask my mate. Job centre. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad though. Um, as you can guess, looking a bit like a chap, I, I have trouble speaking to women. Again, I don't know if it's the smile, the frown or the balaclava. <laughs> but um, it has been brought to my attention that I need a little bit more than chat lines. So I always carry a little. <laughs> I just want to clarify that is actually a joke. <laughs> Chloroform, so much quicker. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm in a relationship now. In two years. I've got our anniversary recently. My defence, you did buy me a kind of tits on it. <laughs> Glad you not found that funny. She did not. <laughs> um, my message she's a lovely girl, but she loves to cuddle. That's not a euphemism. She just loves to cuddle, like everywhere. KFC, Asda, even the pub. I said, look babe, there's a time and a place for that. The start of a relationship. Apparently the same goes with blowjobs though. <laughs> it is a wonderful time, I think you'll agree. The start of a relationship. It's exciting and fresh. You still like each other. You still think she's amazing? She still thinks you're a nice bloke? <laughs> if you're lucky, this lasts a couple of months, and then one day you wake up and she'll look at you and think, What am I doing with this prick? And you'll look at her and think, You can keep your opinion to yourself because you ain't a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, didn't you know? By this time in a relationship, every woman has turned into a copper. <laughs> Everything you say can and will be against you in future arguments. Yeah. I mean, if we try that, it won't work, would it? Two fundamental reasons. First of all, we love her in the fuck all. <laughs> I've been to the toilet and come back without having a piss before. <laughs> <laughs> but second of all, I only ever listen unless it, if it involves sex, bacon or FIFA. And I don't know why the fuck my missus would be talking about sex or bacon. <laughs> um, we started working 
Ben's going to read some names for our own little business. Ooh. Bad idea. <laughs> it's when the cracks start to show, isn't it? <laughs> Difference of opinion. She wants to do things her way. You want to do things the right way. <laughs> <laughs> but you love each other, so you come to a compromise. You did it her way. Because <laughs> again, you ain't a fucking idiot. <laughs> See, a lot of women smile at me, yeah, you know it, didn't you? <laughs> um, that is pretty much a life lesson for uh, any lasting relationship. Women are always right, even when they're wrong, it's our fault. Thank you very much. I've been Craig Carmody. <laughs>